Hi, welcome to the last GTSA meeting of the year here at Torrey Hill. I'm here with Dave Mears. Dave, could you tell me a little bit about your bike? Yes, yeah, uh, 350 Jower. It's in a Stewart frame and the uh, engine's done by um, Roadstar Motorcycles. So uh, it went well here last year, a uh, last meeting at the Centre Championships where we had a, we won the 350 event. So obviously it was going alright for that. Um, just a single cylinder, four stroke, four valves. Um, play around with the carburetors, we run on a Blix, so it's up and down with the jets a bit. Like today we've had a um, quick three or four laps out in practice. I think the way it is, it's ever so slick and green at the top at the moment, but I reckon time racing comes after the first heat. We've been probably looking at putting one, maybe two more teeth on the back just to give it a bit more sort of drive, because obviously I think it'll dry out a hell of a lot, so uh, unless they come out with that lovely water bowser, but we hope they don't. Have you ever um, rode on a different engine or different frame? Yeah, we used to run um, uh, Jawa frames and uh, mainly always been on four stroke Jawas, but you know, knowing at the age I am, for your younger viewers at home, I used to ride uprights and I used to have the old up um, Wes Lakes and things like that, but that was in the prehistoric days. So, but since we've been back on the laydowns, they've always been Jowers with the odd GM with someone's uh, Brian Woodcock's lent us now and again, but we quite prefer the Jowers at Key Supply, so that's good. So, how do you think the bike's going to go here today? Well, hopefully, it's always you always aim to uh, wherever you turn up, whether it's for a trophy or 20 quid or 100 pounds, you always turn up to win. Um, otherwise, there's no point in turning up. So. Um, always go out for that, but obviously you've got Reese, Bob, Vince, and when well, anybody else out there on their day can turn it around. So uh, top three finishes is the aim, and obviously number one. But you know they're all out there to beat me, so I'm out there to beat them. So we just give it a go and see. All right, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, Graham. Um, would you be able to tell us a bit about your bike here? What um, kind of engine you use? Yeah, we've got a Golden V twin in there. It's about two years old now having just rebuilt it totally. We've been running it for 15 or 16 years, I think, and it's a good, reliable engine. Um, is there any other engines that you've ever experienced with? The only other engines I've used are Weslake V-Twins. I've always ridden V-Twin engines, because I like the power that they give. Um, you've been out for practice. Um, how did you find the bike setup was for here today? No, the bike feels fine. Gearing seems about right. The track's a little bit slick, but that should dry out later on and then we should be winning again. Um, is this engine the kind that um, most um, of your class use? No, most of them are using the Yamaha engine, same as the right-handers. The, I think there's only two, no, three of these, because uh, they're very expensive and hard to get hold of now. Um, how are you hoping to do here today? Obviously you want to win, I suppose? Well, I think we're going to win. <laughs> Good luck, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi Terry, um, would you be able to tell us a little bit about your bike, what kind of engine you use and what the differences are on different tracks? Um, basically I've, I run an FZR 1000, I've, I've been on that for about 5-6 years, it's even the same engine, um, but I picked up a few problems most of the season with just little things going wrong and the frame's getting a bit old now, I think it's starting to crack and things like that, you know, but we've it, mostly sorted that, so hopefully we're going to have a good day here, you know. Like you say, you haven't had a very great season. Is that anything to do with the engine? Um, it's a bit of both, really, to be honest with you. We just keep breaking down and haven't got enough points to get into the final, and that's the end of the meeting, then. Is, um, have you sorted out any of the engine problems that you've had and got a good setup for today? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's basically spent a lot of money on the engine over the year, but uh, hopefully it's going to work today. And you've been out for practice. How do you like the track? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good track to be honest. There's a couple of stones and things flying about, but it is a good track. Um, who do you find your main competition is in this class? Um, it was Tony Penfold, but he hasn't been out for the rest of the season, so I'd say Martin Cuff to be honest with you. And you're hoping for a good day today and then try and get in the final? Yeah, hopefully. All right, good luck, thank you. Thanks. I'm here with um, Duncan Tullis mechanic, Mark. Oh, Mark! <laughs> Would you just be able to tell us a bit about the engine and what kind it is and things like that? Uh, it's a G Suzuki GSX-R 1000K5, it's like the 05 model one. It's a sort of, yeah, the latest one there is really at the moment. It seems to be the one that's going good. Um, Duncan changed from a Yamaha from last year. Things seem to be going better with this Suzuki, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he seems to like it better. Yeah, and the front frame seems to handle a bit better as well, so yeah. What's the difference from the Yamaha to the Suzuki? Just technology, really. Like the, 
the Yamaha's 10, 15 years old now and things move on. So, yeah, you, you've got to go with the faster stuff. It's like road racing. They don't r run on, like, 15-year-old Yamahas. They're all on the latest stuff. So. Is this Suzuki's way to go, then? Is there another engine that's no, going to... be good. The new Yamaha, the new Honda, they'll all be good. you just got to, yeah, move with the times. All right. Thank you very much, Mark. No worries, Jim. All the top five are in solos, riding for the Chris Hendrickson Memorial Trophy. The second round of the Stan Freeman 250 shootout, and the second round of the Bob Dolman Ski Holiday. That looks like Lee Jones and passenger. Not sure who the passenger is. Getting in a late practice. Well, the first race coming to the line then. Race one, the 250cc solos. We look for Barry Bates, Tom Penfold. Kevin Taylor, Gary Wells, Ashley Meller, Steve Syrett, Lee Street, Chris Still, James Peters, and Paul Simmons. Rebs rise, takes fly, and we're away. And the Lee Street gets down to the first turn first. He, of course, is one of the most local riders coming from Sittingbourne. And he is away. Eight runners in this 250cc challenge. Lee Street really cuts a tight line around that corner. Four seven. Second place to Manford in ten, and then it is uh, Chris Still. Chris Still trying to go in the outside. He's another local man from the Sittingbourne area. Then it's like Gary Wells from uh, the Essex area, Eastern Centre. In fact, Woodbridge in Suffolk. How dare I call him an Essex boy? Round they come then. Lee Street. That's in second. Chris in third. Then Gary Wells in fourth. Then Barry Bates. In fifth. Then uh, James Peters on a 250. Then 126, Kevin Taylor and 58, Ashley Meller. Well, Lee Street making this one look his own, isn't he? But that battle for second place is really on as they come up to take the last lap flag. It is 75. Lee Street. 131, 47, 32, Chris Still. Then 70, Gary Wells. Barry Bates. James Peters. And what looks like a 250 Golden. Never seen one of them before. Colin's been hard at work, I bet. There's the winner. The checkered flag goes in the first round for Lee Street. From Paul Simmons. From Chris Still. Gary Wells. Barry Bates, James Peters, Kevin Taylor, and Ashley Meller. Race one, the first of the 250cc solos, and the win going to number 75, Lee Street. Second place, 31, Paul Simmons. Third place, 82, Chris Still. Fourth place, 70, Gary Wells. Fifth place, 88, Barry Bates. Sixth place, number 45, James Peters. Seventh place, number 126, Kevin Taylor. Eighth place, number 58, Ashley Meller. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 40.76 seconds. A speed of 47.16 miles per hour. Well, there was me saying earlier on that the uh, 250s went as per program and we dropped two already. Tom Penfold and Stevie Syrett. Only assume they must have signed on or um, they'd have been down as non-starters. From the top, 75, 31, 82, 70, 88, 45, 126, 
CC Solos, a win for number eight, Vince Kinchin. Second place, number 16, Bob Dolman. Third place, number 19, Dave Mears. Fourth place, number 56, Richard Reed. Fifth place, 213, Terry Massingham. Sixth place, number 12, Chris Watts. Seventh place, 114, Richard Bartlett. Eighth place, number 43, Graham Cousins. And ninth place, number two, Adrian Harden. The winner's time was 1 minute 34.14 seconds and average speed of 50.47 miles per hour. From the top, 8, 16, 19, 56, 213, 12, 114, 43 and 2. 1 minute 34.14 seconds, 50.47 miles per hour. No Tim Mail to the fight. See if he gets the best of the car. One by two, one four. Mike Wilson. Sure, it's Mike. Good first corner there, and the uh, place is changing as they come up there. Got to go out of that corner onto the straight. They start to sort themselves out. Good sideways action and flat out. It's uh, Reese Wilding. <laughs> Tom Steve Stuart Mears, Stuart Mears, Mike Mersel, Mike Mersel, Alan Pearson, sorry Mike Pearson, the other one always might have been them two, huh? It's the trouble they're related, they're the same surname. Reese Wilding then. It is time against his kitchen. 
350cc Sarrows, a win for number 81, Reese Wilding. Second place to number 37, Michael Peters. Third place to number 6, Steve Higgins. Fourth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Fifth place, number 14, Stuart Mears. Sixth place, 214, Mike Wilson. Seventh place, number 9, Mike Thirtle. And number 8, one two, and in eighth place, sorry, number 124. Mike Pearson. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 39.94 seconds and average speed of 47.54 miles per hour. From the top, 81, 37, 6, 48, 14, 214, 9, 124. 1 minute 39.94 seconds, 47.54 miles per hour. Number 99, Pete Colvin. We'll have Alan Elliott in the chair. Alan Elliott in the chair. And uh, number seven, Paul Johnson and Russell Little will be replaced with number 80, Will Offin and R. Paul. Caterers doing a grand job and just send Barry as a runner to give me a nice hot roast pork roll, hot roast pork apple sauce stuffing. Hey, I'm making you hungry. Get one over there. Get one over there. There's a bar next door to it. Not an awful lot of drinkers here today, I'm afraid. Not warm enough for it. Nice cold beer down your throat. And the right hand side cars are away on the far side. Oh, who's got to start like that? Must be Rob Wilson, I should think. On the Letchford Suzuki. And Ian Whale. Now, this is interesting. We've got the uh, 2005 Masters Champion out front. Driver and the 2005 Masters Champion, Passenger, in second place. All right, Mark Warren, Ray Westbrook. Six right-handers doing battle here at the GTSA. and Nicky Owen then, one more lap to go from 92, Paul Whiteland and Royal. And the race continuing into the last turn. Doesn't look like anybody's going to touch Rob Wilson in this one, does it? On the Letchford Suzuki and it's really, really flying. There goes the second flag, Rob Wilson and Nicky Owen from Paul Whiteland. And Ian Ryle. Mark Paul, Mark Warren, Martin Smith, Peter Colvin, and I've forgotten the change of passenger. Oh, Alan, Alan Elliott, and then Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. Right then. Race four, right hand side cars, a round robin of right hand side cars, eight side cars here this afternoon. Everybody gets three 
rides from four races and race four. A win for number 24, Rob Wilson and Nicky Owen. Second place, number 92, Paul White of Ian Wale. Third place, number 80, Will Offit and Richard Paul. Tar Paul, I'm not sure if it's Richard to be honest. Fourth place was 306, Mark Warren and Martin Smith. Fifth place, 99, Pete Colvin and Alan Lillian. And in sixth place, number 17, Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. The winner's time is 1 minute 26.11 seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, it's these things, Steve Brave and it's the first turn first. Looks like Bradley Kai going after him in second. And Gareth Hickmott in third. Bradley Kite in second place, Gareth Hickmott in third, then Mitch Conley, Bradley here at Torrey Hill, two more minutes to go. Very, very fast stuff indeed. Steve Braithwaite catching up with the tail ender and will lapse him before the end of lap three. He's really flying around this fast Torrey Hill circuit this afternoon. Steve Braithwaite on his way. One more lap to go. Number 18, Matthew Nabrias. What I find, Matthew Kite in second. And uh, Gareth Hickmott in third. Mitch Godden in fourth. Mitch Godden trying to go around the outside of Gareth Hickmott. Middle up with the tail ender. And uh, Mitch comes up on the inside. Passes Gareth. Moves himself up in the third place. The checker flag is out. And two on five. Steve Braithwaite taking the win. Bradley Kite coming home in second place. Gareth Hickmott in third. Mitch Godden in fourth. And our number 18, just one lap down, Alan Pearson. Official result at the moment. Race five. I've never seen so many crane flies in my life as there is in this place. Race five, 500 cc solos. A win for 215, Steve Brayford. Second place, number 495, Bradley Kite. Third place, number 7, Gareth Hickmott. Fourth place, number 9, Mitch Cotton. And in fifth place, number 18, Alan Pearson. No other finishes, the winner's time is 1 minute 26.81 seconds, a speed of 54.74 miles per hour. From the top, 215, 495, 7, 9, 18. 1 minute 26.81 seconds, 54.74 miles per hour. Race four, I think you probably got the result, but the time and speed were a bit muffled by the noise of the bikes, I think, so. Race four, the right-hand side cars, the winner's time is 1 minute 26.11 seconds, the speed of 53.93 miles per hour. and just as well on the 500. Vince Engine leads up the back straight. Then Rob Watts. 
Adrian Harden, now an Elvis Vial. Checkered flag being made ready. For number eight, Ben Skinchin. Rob Meir in second place, followed by Adam Velma, Jason Hilliard, Rob Watts. Row six, the 500 cc solos. A win there for number eight, Vince Kinchin. Second place, number 151, Rob Meir. Third place, number 24, Adam Filmer. Fourth place, number 47, Jason Hilliard. Fifth place, number 13, Rob Watts. Sixth place, number two, Adrian Harden. And in seventh place, number 152, Aaron Elvis Vale. No other finishes. The winner's time is 1 minute 31.71 seconds. A speed of 51.81 miles per hour. From the top, 8, 151, 24, 47, 13, 2, and 152. 1 minute 31.71 seconds. 51.81 miles per hour. On to the left-hand side cars. Billy Penfold with Kevin Penfold. No Mark O'Donnell. And no number two, Kevin Penfold driving these passengers. But Billy is up there. second place. A lot of work had to be done on that outfit this week after Colin threw it up the track last week and I think his punishment is he's got a passenger it again now. Graham Hilton holding on to that second place then. Steve Dowling leading. It's the battle of the V-Twins at the moment with V-Twins in first and second places. Steve Dowling, Graham Hilton, Will Penfold. And Billy Penfold. 34. Steve Dowling on the lead twist from Graham Hilton. From Will Penfold and Billy Penfold. Bringing up the rear. Now Will had a bit of a knock last week up at Ugly as well, so uh, Accidents galore up there last week. But he's back out, fit and fighting this afternoon. Last lap flag comes out for Steve Dowling. Graham Hilton then in second place. Colin Clark, so Steve Dowling and uh, Neil Smith. Graham Hilton, Colin Clark. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Round they come. Check and flag goes. Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Graham Hilton, Colin Clark in second place. Then Will Penfold. I'm not sure if he's nice or not on the side there. And then Billy Penfold and Kevin Penfold in fourth place. Official result in a moment. Race seven, left-hand side cars. Race seven, left-hand side cars. A win for number 34. Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. Second place, number 151. Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Third place, number 22. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. And in fourth place, number one, two, three, Billy Penfold and Kevin Penfold. Now the finishes, the winner's time is one minute fifty, point, uh, sorry, one minute fifty-two point five oh seconds, forty-two point two three miles per hour. From the top, thirty-four, one five one, twenty-two, one two three, one minute fifty-two point five oh seconds, forty-two point two three miles per hour. Danny Holman and Nick Gill in second place. 
Not very far behind. No Tony Penfold in this one, I'm afraid, is a uh, venture into the uh, single cylinder. Left hander doesn't seem to have gone very well this year. Let's hope he does better luck next season. One to eight. Martin Cup and Steve Moore. Well, then Holman and Nick here from 72. Ben Drake and then Phillips. Swimming one, one, three. Mike Downs and Mick Arling. Martin Cuthbert rounding that turn. Danny Holman waiting to uh, pounce on him as they come around the corner. Of course, Martin Cuthbert is this year's British champion. Show him right here in this race. Danny Holman doing well with up with him. Vince Drake in third. Mike Dales with new passenger McArling in fourth. Again, Phillips and at 113, McDowns, McArling bringing up the rear. Race 8, left hand side cars. Race 8, left hand side cars. A win for number 128, Martin Cuff and Steve North. Second place to number 12, Danny Holman and Nick Gear. Third place to number 72, Glyn Drake and then Phillips. And in fourth place, number 113, McDowns and McArling. No fifth or sixth finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 53.68 seconds. An average speed of 41.8 miles per hour. That's 1 to 8, 12, 72, 113. 1 minute 53.68, 41.80 miles per hour. Left hand side cars, par 3. Look for Fred Kitchen and Mick Browse. Dominic Doyle and Peter Taylor. The return of Dominic Doyle. Sit in for a while. Chris Downs and Paul Stybritz. Gary and Phil McCulloch. Gary Nicholas. Mike Raymond. Then for a kitchen, and then Chris Downs. Well, the big return of Dominic Gordon didn't quite work, did it? Nonetheless, still got some fighting crews out there, and Terry Nicholas making the most of it. Terry Nicholas, Michael Raymond, Terry and Phil McCullough, Red Kitchen, Mick Browns. Chris Downs and Paul Stybritz. One four two. In the lead, all the way from Wales. Paul Stybritz hanging on in there in second place. Fred Kitchen in third. Mike Downs and Paul Stybritz in fourth. One more lap to go. McCulloch Brothers in second place. A look at Fred Kitchen. On the uh, 580 cc, I think it is, uh, single cylinder machine. Engine borrowed from a Speedway Solo. A board out. He goes on the inside again. McCulloch's just hanging on to it up there back straight. Terry Nicholas is long gone. 
Checkered flag is all these, but the battle for the second, third and fourth is hotting up on the last turn. Gary and Phil McCullough get the second, Chris Downs gets the third, and Fred Kinchin unfortunately retires to the centre green. Looks like the chains come off on that last turn. Fred, you can have your points if you push it over the line, mate. I think he heard that. I think he'd forgotten that. Look how much energy they got. They just belted with that thing around for the best part of four laps. They've still got all the energy with which to push it. Well done, Fred. Official result in a moment. Race nine, the left-hand side cars, a win for number 142, Sherry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. Second place, number 32, Gary and Phil McCulloch. Third place to 114. Chris Downs and Paul Stybritz, and in fourth place, number 84, Fred Kinchin and Mick Prowse. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 51.06 seconds, a speed of 42.78 miles per hour. And again, I suppose you might not. Upright solos next in, they've become a very, 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 very regular class in the South East Centre over the last three or four years. Good to see some of these bikes now on the track, not stuck in the shed. Good to see the boys out there enjoying themselves. The grin from here to here when they get back on the paddock and they're enjoying themselves. Bubba Hall with your power direction at the far start. Aaron Elvis Lowell in second place. Richard Bartlett, they're having an exciting moment on that corner there as he gets it all sideways, locked up and going for it. Richard Bartlett leads it. Second place down on Elvis Vale from 126, Kevin Taylor from 51, Kevin Beer. And 18. Alan Pearson. Elvis Vale from uh, Kevin Taylor, from Kevin Beer. And Alan Pearson. Now that flag comes out, <coughs> Richard Bartlett, soaking up the line light in this one, he gets the win. Oh, we're on the last on the wrong flag. Wrong flag, I must have got up too early this morning. Richard Bartlett then, one lap to go. Winding that throttle one more time, incredible lead there. Richard Bartlett takes that checkered flag. He does get the win, I was just uh, back in front of myself. No Elvis Vale in second, then Kevin Taylor. From Kevin Beer. Race 10. Race 10, now Bright Solos, leg one, a win for number 114, Richard Bartlett, second place number 152, Aaron Elvis Vale, third place to number 126, Kevin Taylor, fourth place number 51, Kevin Beer. No other finishes, the winner's time is 1 minute 45.77 seconds, a speed of 44.92 miles per hour. From the top, 114, 152, 126, 51. 1 minute 45.77 seconds, 44.92 miles per hour. On to the other half of the uprights, we get Mike Pearson. Spencer Harrison. Van Barrick. Brian Cornelius. Robin Pilcher. And Adrian Hart. I expect a bit of a battle between 48 and 174, but 68 and Derek will probably be the two in his way. Let's have a look and see what happens in race 11 here at Torrey Hill. Followed by 68 and Derek, and then in third place it is Brian Cornelius. 
Dan Perry goes past on the first turn, winds up the throttle, one of the younger of the uh, upright riders. Robin Filch is not going to let him get away with it though, he chases hard up that straight, makes up a lot of ground on the straight, but loses a little bit more on the corner. As the daredevil in the youth puts the power on a bit earlier. Dan Berwick, going very well here this afternoon. <coughs> Robin Pilcher in second, Brian Cornelius in third. Who's that in fourth? About to give Brian Cornelius a bit of a worry in time. 68. Dan Berwick on 48, Brian Cornelius. So for one seven four seconds in this uh, Robin Pilcher. Well, well, he goes back to fourth on that corner. I was all getting myself ready and uh, screwed it up as usual. Round the turn they come then. 68. Dan Barrick on the last lap flag. On well, one seven four, Robin Pilcher in second. Sure he's not going to waste all his energy on this. Then in third place, number 24, Spencer Harrison. 48, Brian Cornelius. Two, Adrian Harden. And uh, one, two, four. Mike Pearson. Dan Barrett crosses the line for a win. Robin Pilcher now comes to a second position. Spencer Harrison. Brian Cornelius. Put at home by Adrian Harden. And last but not least. One, two, four. Mike Pearson. Race 11, the upright solos, race 11, a win for 68, Dan Berwick. Second place, number 174, Robin Pilcher. Third place, number 24, Spencer Harrison. Fourth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Fifth place, number 2, Adrian Harden. And sixth place, number 124, Mike Pearson. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 40.24 seconds, a speed of 47.40 miles per hour from the top 68 174 24 48 2 and 124 1 minute 40.24 seconds 47.40 miles per hour back to the 250s and the good news on the 250 front is that Lee Street is in front with 14 points second place on 12 is 31 Paul Simmons third place on 10 is 82 Chris Still Followed by number 70, Gary Wells on 9, 88, Barry Bates on 8, 45, James Peters on 7, and 126, Kevin Taylor on 6. The 250cc solos this afternoon are battling for the Bernie Edwards Trophy. Bernie Edwards Trophy. Bernie Edwards, a top 250 rider at his time. My time? Did I say? Our time? Did I say? Who, uh, unfortunately passed away in the early in part of this year. In case I believe only 55. I might not have long to go myself, make the most of it. I might not be here much longer. And uh, I already got it. Probably about to go in the car for now. They're racing this afternoon for the Bernie Edwards Memorial Trophy. Hello. On the right and the right. And on the right, that was Jeff Wells, which has got the advantage of that first turn, and Chris still pushing his way through. Paul Simmons on the inside, Lee Street down in fourth, and Lee Street puts one twist to the throttle and takes itself up to second place. He now chases after Paul Simmons as Paul Simmons leads it. Chris still is in third, Gary Wells in fourth. Look at that battle on the front line as Paul Simmons tries to hang on to it. Lee Street goes to the inside. The two Yamaha's, Chimbo and Simmons, Yamaha, are right there in front doing the business, and Lee Street takes over. Lee Street on the front line, Paul Simmons in second place. Lee Street, quality street, leading this 250 leg. He won the first one, he doubles his points up to uh, 28 if he can stay in this place. It's Lee Street. Gary Wells, Chris Still. Kevin Taylor, Barry Bates, James Peters on the 250 Gordon. Ashley Mellor bringing up the rear. Last that flag goes out. Lee Street, Paul Simmons, Paul Simmons, Yamaha, then Gary 
Jerry Wells. Chris Still. Kevin Chandler on Barry Bates having a right ding dong battle. Then James Peters on a low four stroke. Gordon Racer, GR. Ashley Miller bringing up the rear. Lee Street gets the power on early coming out of that last turn and the chequered flag is all his. His two guys and two wins for Lee Street. From Paul Simmons in second, Gary Wells in third, Crystal in fourth. Larry Bates in fifth, Kevin Taylor in sixth. And James Peters. And Ashley Miller bringing up the rear. Official result for you in a moment. Race 12, race 12, 250cc solos, a win there for number 75, Lee Street, second place to number 31, Paul Simmons, third place to number 70, Gary Wells, fourth place to number 82, Chris Still, fifth place, 88, Barry Bates, sixth place, 126, Kevin Taylor, seventh place, number 45, James Peters, eighth place, number 58, Ashley Meller. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 39.66 seconds, a speed of 47.68 miles per hour. From the top, 75, 31, 70, 82, 88, 126, 45, 58. 1 minute 39.66 seconds, 47.68 miles per hour. We move on to the 350cc solos. Vince Kinchin and Reese Wilding on 14 points each. Bob Dolman and Mike Peters on 12 points each. Dave Mears and Steve Higgins on 10 points each. Richard Reed, Brian Cornelius on 9 points each. Terry Matthews and Stuart Mears on 8 points each. That's an after first leg. Second leg, under one. Got the whole shot in this one and he's away. I doubt anybody will catch him now. Problems at the start. Mike Peters, Mike Peters, Reese Wilding down in fourth place at the moment. He had a win first time out in January on the outside of Michael Peters. He gets up into third place and shades after Richard Reed. The thing is, it's all right overtaking the blokes at the back of the field, but they get harder as you go along. Rob Watts drops out with Bob. Lloyd Chris Watts drops out with Bob. Dave Mears leading. Richard Reed in second. Reese Wilding in third. Michael Peters in fourth. Stuart Mears in fifth. Adrian Hart in sixth. Mike Wilson in seventh. Last lap flag out, 419, just one lap to go, Richard Reed, second place, Wilding in third, big fast circuit. Well, once the man with the fast machine gets away, it's a job to overhaul him. Stuart Mears, one lap to go, Adrian Harden with one lap to go, Mike Wilson and Stevie with one lap to go, and the winner comes out, takes the check and flag, Dave Mears. From Richard Reed, from Reese Wilding. Mike Peters. Good news. Adrian Hart. Steve Higgins. And Mike Wilson. Bringing up the rear. Race 13, the 350cc solos. A win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second place, number 56, Richard Reed. Third place, number 81. Reese Wilding. Fourth place, number 37, Mike Peters. Fifth place, number 14, Stuart Mears. Sixth place, number two, Adrian Harden. Seventh place, number six, Steve Higgins. Eighth place, number 214, Mike Wilson. No ninth finisher. The winner's time is 1 minute 35.39 seconds, a speed of 49.81 miles per hour. From the top, 19, 56. 81, 37, 14, 2, 6, 214. 1 minute 35.39 seconds, a speed of 49.81 miles per hour. Race 14, 350cc solos. We look for Richard Barnett, Bob Dolman, Mike Fertle, Vince Kinchin, Brian Cornelius, Graham Cousins, 
Point Pearson, then Terry Massingham. Oh, Vince Kinchin with one win already, and uh, Bob Dolman had a second place. Let's see what happens here. Race 40, 350, hello. Flat out off the line we go, down the straight. 16, Bob Dolman. 1114, Richard Bartlett. Vince Kinchin moving up from fourth, up to third, up to second. He chases after Bob Dolman. Bob Dolman's getting away with it at the moment. But Vince Kinchin looks very fast up that back straight. Even faster into that corner as he comes up to challenge Bob Dolman. Bob Dolman on the inside, Vince Kinchin on the outside. What a two out there, and I'm sure the Vince Kinchin's not enjoying those. You see he is riding a slightly wider outside the line, trying to keep out of the line. Fire off that back wheel, those stones do hurt. Especially if it's coming off Bob Dolman's wheel at 50 or 60 miles an hour, and then Vince is running into it at that. Vince goes right round the outside, flat out. He's making it have it. Make it have it, Vince. Bob in second place. Bob Dolman going for it on the inside, not quite able to do it over. Vince gets it on the side. Going down in third. Richard Barber in fourth. Then Brian Cornelius in fifth. Brian Cousins in sixth. Bob Dolman in third. Mike Last lap flag, Vince Kinchin. Bob Terry Massingham. Richard Barnett, Brian Cornelius. Graham Cousins. Mike Turtle. Bob Dolman right in touch there on the line. Not quite enough to do it though. Vince Kinchin wins. Bob Dolman in second place. Bob Dolman, Brian Cornelius. Richard Bartlett. Little cap for uh, Graham Cousins. And Mike Turtle. Race 14, 350cc solos. A win for number 8. Vince Kinchin. Second place, number 16. Bob Dolman. Third place, number 213. Terry Massingham. Fourth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Fifth place, number 114, Richard Barnett. Sixth place, 43, Graham Cousins. And in seventh place, number nine, Mike Thirtle. The winner's time was 1 minute 33.99 seconds. A speed of 50.55 miles per hour. From the top, 8, 16, 213, 48, 114, 43 and 9. Winner's time, 1 minute 33.99 seconds. A speed of 50.55 miles per hour on the A22, four miles south of Junction 6 on the M25. Very easy to get to. Tickets are £10 and includes a buffet supper. It's a 7 o'clock uh, get there for a 7.30 start. An evening with Al Fagan, I will repeat that later on. Tickets are £10 each. I've got 10 of them here. I'm sure that uh, the Gotham Camp has got some in the, uh, in the pits and other people are distributing them as well. We can't, I think, got some standing up outside the caravan. Did you bring them? No. There you go, you don't get them off me, won't you? 10 pounds each, and he's in with Al Hager. Here we go then, side cars. Race 15. The right-handers, part two of a round robin. And Whiteland and Whale are out, I think, on that foothold, are they? Has he got it going again? Round they come then. Mark Warren Martin Smith. Lee Jones and uh, Steve Henderson. Then Duncan Thomas. Says here Terry Saunters, so that we'll believe. That's Rob Patterson's gone back to Australia already. Down they come then. Fair six, Mark Warren and Martin Smith. Rob Lee Jones. Duncan Thomas and Terry Saunters. Then Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. Then Will Offin. Ah, Paul bringing up the rear. Putting the power on the ground. 306, Mark Warren and Martin Smith. And Terry Saunters in second. All happening here at Torrey Hill. In the North Downs of Kent. 
Mark Warren just a little wide, Duncan Tullos racing for mistake, he's not going to get it, the checkered flag has gone, Mark Warren wins, Duncan Tullos in second place. B. Jones in third, Ray Westbrook in fourth, and Will Offen in fifth. Right hand side cars, race 15, a win for number 306, Mark Warren and Martin Smith. Second place was 74, Duncan Tollos and Sherry Saunders. Third place was number 3, Lee Jones and Steve Henderson. Fourth place was number 17, Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. And in fifth place was number 80, Will Offin and R. Paul. No six finisher, the winner's time was 1 minute 28.30 seconds, a speed of 52.59 miles per hour. Race 16, race 16, 500 cc solos. Race 16, 500 cc solos. Luke from Hitchcock, Vince Kinchin, Aaron Elvis Vale, Rob Mir, Jason Hilliard, all going well this afternoon. Vince Kinchin leads, Don Goddard. Vince Goddard goes powering past and leads this one. He's obviously sucking extra cob on that gearbox rocket or something, but he's away in this one and absolutely flying. I think Vince has gone out on the first turn. So Mitch leads. Rob Mia in second place, Jason Hilliard in third, Alan Pilber in fourth, Aaron Elvis Vale in fifth. Vince Kinchin going back to the pits. Is that a punch at rear tyre I can see? Number nine, Mitch Gunn Leading from Rob Mia in second place, 47, Jason Hilliard in third, and 24, Adam Pilber. Aaron Elvis Vale. Up the rear. Last lap flag comes out. Mitch in command. Let's hope he has a better day today than last time up here with too many chain failures. Both in the final, he was going quite well in those South East Centre Championship events. But uh, looks over his shoulder, can see no Vince Kinchin, must be wondering where he is. Into the last turn goes Mitch Gotten. One last twist of the throttle. And away to the finish. Mitch Cotton. Rob Mia. Jason Hilliard. Adam Felwell. Bringing up the rear, Aaron Elvis Pyle. Race 16, 500 cc solos. A win there for number nine, Mitch Cotton. Second place, number 151. Rob Mia. Third place, number 47, Jason Hilliard. Fourth place, number 24. Adam Filmer, fifth place number 152, Aaron Elvis Vale. No other finishes, the winner's time is 1 minute 32.16 seconds, a speed of 51.56 miles per hour. Race 16 then, 9, 151, 47, 24 and 152, 1 minute 32.16 seconds, 51.56 miles per hour. Um, an ex grass track and speedway rider of great fame and speedway. Great grass track racer, great ice racer. Quite an all round motorcycle when it comes to turning left. Out with his son, a duck shoot. There's a stopman, lots of family managed to buy. Great years. Unfortunately, he doesn't do it. This is grass track racing. And we are on the 17 500cc solo. Steve Brayford going for gold down the back straight. Steve Brayford getting the grip, getting the drive. Right. 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 Steve Brayford, Ron Ford, I'm five, Bradley Kite from seven, Garrett, six, one, thirteen, Rob Watt, next to Ray Sam Hart. 
Right, it's nicely spread out, makes it easy for me. Steve Bateford, sponsored by Wilson Tarmac. Absolutely boring in this afternoon with two laps to go. Randy Coyne in second place. Then Gareth McMott in third. Then Rob Watts. Then Adrian Harden. Fast lap flag for Steve Bateford. Got the measure of this circuit, only two south-east and just the last time we came here. On his first race in great command and half a lap to go in his second. Did very well at the Masters last week as well. Round they come then. The winner, 2-1-5, Steve Brayford. Second place, 495, Bradley Kite. On by number seven, Gareth Hickmott. Number 13, Rob and number 2, Adrian Harden. Race 17, the 500cc solos. Race 17, 500cc solos. A win there for number 215, Steve Brayford. Second place, number 495, Bradley Kite. Third place, number 7, Gareth Hickmott. Fourth place, number 13, Rob Watts. And in fifth place, number 2, Adrian Harden. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 26.50 seconds, a speed of 54.93 miles per hour. From the top, 215, 495, 7, 13 and 2. 1 minute 26.50 seconds, 54.93 miles per hour. Happy birthday, Gladys Pilcher, 20th of September. Race 17 then, no, race 18 then, the left hand side cars and uh, nobody left on the line, it's like Tony Coyle. Tony Coyle left on the line, they're not having the happiest of days, is he? Missed his first ride and uh, hasn't got away in this one either. Left hand charioteers, no Mick O'Donnell in this one, he's had to go to work today. Up in the Dome, Millennium Dome in London. High flying people, these grass trackers in their other life. Come down here for a day on. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw then leading this one. From Danny Holman and Mickey in second place. Jim Mike Dales and Mick Arling, they're uh, pushing away there in third place. First time they've ridden as a team together, to the best of my knowledge, so they've obviously got to get used to each other's quirky little ways. Nigel and Mickey sit on their box, that's what I've done. 22, Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Danny Holman and Mickey in second place. Mike Downs and McArling, then Chris Downs, his father. And Paul Steinbritz in hot pursuit in fourth. The Battle of the Downs. On the Downs. The Battle of the Downs on the Downs. Quite right, and Well said, that one. No, I didn't think of that. You're a poet, and I didn't know it. Here they come then, 22. Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw with one left to go. Danny Holman and Mickey are in second place. Mike Downs and Mick Chris Downs and Paul Stybritz. Will Penfold goes a bit wide on that corner and Danny Holman makes the most of it and goes through. Now the battle's on on the last turn. They close up. They're all blue boys on black bikes and it's uh, pretty dramatic from here as Danny Holman goes a bit wide. Will Penfold puts it foul on early. Comes up on the inside. Who's he going to be? Danny Holman gets it. And Will Penfold takes second. Mike Downs and Mick Arling, Chris Downs and Paul Stybritz. So race 18, the left-hand side cars. A win for number 12, Danny Holman and Nick Gear. Second place, number 22, Will Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Third place, number 113, Mick Downs and, uh, Mike Downs and Mick Arling. And in fourth place, number 114, Chris Downs and Paul Stybritz. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 52.24 seconds, a speed of 42.33 miles per hour. From the top, 12, 22, 113, 114, 1 minute 52.24 seconds, 42.33 miles per hour. So don't forget the night with Alf Hagen. Blindly Heath at the Foreman Institute. 10 pounds with buffet supper. 
know how many grass trackers would know, but Al Fagan was one of the first men to go over 200 miles an hour on a motorcycle. In fact, I think he's probably the first. Sprinting on his 1,000... Uh, 1,000 V twin cat, supercharged, running on top almost to a nitro. He's done a two-way sprint at 206.86 miles per hour in 1967. That's not the old witch with the raffle tickets, is it? The old witch with the raffle tickets. You put a spell on you if you don't buy them. Here they come then, 128, Martin Thomas, Steve North, the British champions this year. Top the left hand side car class and they get the whole shot there for the first turn. The McCulloch brothers are in hot pursuit in second place. Gary and Phil. Terry Nichols and Michael Raymond trying to move up from third into second place. Then McCulloch brothers. They said they're the British champions. Martin Cuff and Steve North. Martin Cuff, Steve North then. Ahead of the game. From Wales. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond in second place. Then one, two, three, Billy Penfold and Kelly Penfold. And the McCulloch brothers slip back to fourth. One more lap to go. Well, I'm buying raffle tickets, and so should you. I need to put no spell on me. Well, the last turn, then, for the last time. It's hotting up on the last turn. Martin Cuff goes a bit wide. Terry Nicholas forces up on the inside, but Martin Cuff holds on to it. Terry Nicholas in second place. Billy Penfold in third, and the McCulloch brothers in fourth. Race 19, left hand side cars, another win for 128, Martin Cuff and Steve North, second place to 142, Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond, third place to number 123, Billy Penfold and Kevin Penfold, and in fourth place, number 32, Gary and Phil McCulloch. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 49.87 seconds, a speed of 43.25 miles per hour. From the top, 128, 142, 123, 132, 1 minute 49.87, 43.25 miles per hour. Tell you that. Heading 
the power on the ground, winding up the motor, and the last lap there goes is by Melbourne Colin Clark, and the Steve Dowling is closing in. I'm sure Colin Clark has signalled to Graham, let's get going, boy, because it's going to be the end of it. Look how close he is coming out of that corner and just one straight and one turn left in it. Graham Helton powers away a bit on the straight, but he'll take a breather on the corner for sure, and uh, Steve Dowling will be waiting to bounce. Steve Dowling comes on the outside, Graham Helton puts the power on. Here they come then, Graham Helton makes it, Steve Dowling in second. And uh, problems on the far side. But Kinchin breaks down on the far side. On the side of We have a result, don't we, of race 20, the left-hand side cars, and winner number 151, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Second place, number 34, Steve Dowling and Neil Smith. And third place, number 72, Clint Drake and M. Phillips. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 51.45 seconds, a speed of 42.63 miles per hour. From the top, 151, 34 and 72. 1 minute 51.45 seconds, 42.63 miles per hour.